for each value of t below, determine the quadrant in which the terminal side of the angle is found, then find the corresponding reference angle, t bar. In this video, we will take a look at t equals 4 pi over 3 radians and t equals 11 pi over 4 radians. So given the angle t equals 4 pi over 3 radians, the first step is to sketch this angle in standard position, which means we start along the positive x-axis and rotate counterclockwise 4 pi over 3 radians, or if we need to, we can convert this to degrees, which gives us 240 degrees. But let's practice working with radians. If we rotate 4 pi over 3 radians in the counterclockwise direction, then the terminal side of the angle is along this right here. If we wanted to, we could count by pi over 3 radians, or 1 third pi radians, starting along the positive x-axis. Here we have 1 pi over 3 radians, 2 pi over 3 radians, 3 pi over 3 radians, which is pi radians, and finally 4 pi over 3 radians. Notice how the terminal side of the angle does lie in the third quadrant, and therefore we enter 3 for the quadrant. And now we need to determine the reference angle, which is the smallest angle that the terminal side of the given angle, this side here, forms with the x-axis. So notice how the closest part of the x-axis is here along the negative x-axis. So this is one side of the angle, and this is the other side of the reference angle, which means this angle here is t-bar. And again, the orange angle is the given angle, angle t. So looking at the graph, we may be able to recognize that the measurement of angle t bar is pi over 3 radians of a rotation past the negative x-axis, and therefore t bar, the measurement of the reference angle, is pi over 3 radians. If we can't quite see that, notice how what we could do is take the measurement of angle t and subtract pi radians, or one half of a revolution, which will leave us with the measurement of angle t bar. Again, the measurement of angle t, the given angle, minus pi radians, will give us the measurement of the reference angle, which is t bar. So to write this out, we have t bar equals the given angle t minus pi radians, which gives us t bar equals four pi over three radians minus pi over one radians. And now we obtain a common denominator by multiplying the top and bottom of pi over 1 by 3, which gives us t bar equals 4 pi over 3 radians minus 3 pi over 3 radians, which does give us t bar equals 1 pi over 3 radians, or just pi over 3 radians. And now let's take a look at our second example, which is t equals 11 pi over 4 radians. Again, we could convert to degrees which would give us 495 degrees. But again, let's practice working with radians. Remember, 2 pi radians is equal to 1 full revolution, and 11 pi over 4 radians is greater than 2 pi radians. So beginning with the given, so beginning with the given angle, we have t equals 11 pi over 4 radians, which we could also write as t equals 8 pi over 4 radians. We'll notice how this is equal to 2 pi radians plus 3 pi over 4 radians, which means to sketch the angle in standard position, we rotate 2 pi radians, which is one full revolution, in the counterclockwise direction, and then an additional 3 pi over 4 radians. So in standard position, we start here along the positive x-axis. Now we rotate 11 pi over 4 radians in the counterclockwise direction. So again, one full revolution gives us 2 pi radians, or 8 pi over 4 radians. Now we rotate 3 pi over 4 radians more, which means the terminal side of the given angle is here, which is the same terminal side of the angle 3 pi over 4 radians in standard position. So this is the sketch of angle T in standard position. Notice how the terminal side is in the second quadrant, so we enter 2 for the quadrant. And now we need to find T bar, which is the measurement of the reference angle. Notice how the terminal side is closest to, again, the negative x-axis. So this is one side of the reference angle, and the terminal side is the other side. So this angle here is angle t-bar. Again, looking at the graph, we may be able to recognize that we need to rotate pi over 4 radians more 
to reach the negative x-axis, and therefore t bar is equal to pi over 4 radians. If we don't quite see that, notice that what we could do is take pi radians, which is half of a revolution, this angle here, and then subtract this angle, which notice how it would be 3 pi over 4 radians. So we could also say that t bar is equal to pi radians minus 3 pi over 4 radians, which are going to leave us with the measurement of angle t bar. So we have t bar equals pi over 1 radians minus 3 pi over 4 radians. And now we obtain a common denominator by multiplying the top and bottom of pi over 1 by 4, which gives us t bar equals 4 pi over 4 radians minus 3 pi over 4 radians, which does give us t bar equals 1 pi over 4 radians, or just pi over 4 radians. Notice here, because the given angle was more than 2 pi radians, we did have to analyze our graph a little more than usual to determine the calculation for the reference angle. Before we go, here are some notes that might be helpful to determine the reference angle when the angle is between 0 and 2 pi radians or 0 and 360 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.